actually Kenny Marks on the cup also. Um, <laughs> Kenny's manager and I were having uh, martinis in the village in New York one night, and he tried to convince me to read this play. So I read the play, and I really loved the play. And um, he introduced me to Steve, and Steve and I talked, and I wanted to make sure he wasn't one of those writers that thought he was holier than now, and I thought he was just really terrific about his work and why he wrote what he wrote. Um, so we decided to do it, and I, I am ecstatic over the cast that we were able to put together for this. I just saw Lenny in Bullets Over Broadway, and when um, my casting director and Steve had both suggested him, I thought, oh God, that would be fantastic. And um, Donna, we've known forever through film and TV. Um, as I said, you still look exactly the way you do. <laughs> <laughs> Meredith, you are going to have a job aging her. <laughs> she looks entirely it's, too young. It's totally fine with me, too. We can play. But I thought it was a great, Steve refers to it as a dramedy. I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, everybody knows how friendly and fond I am of Bruce Graham, and I think one of the things I love about Bruce's work is that just when you're ready to cry, you laugh or the other way around. And I think that this play captures, you know, captures all the fun in dysfunction in the first two acts. And the third act really turns the tables on us. And it's, it's um, we were chatting last night about it at dinner and about how relevant it is and how everybody, regardless of where they live, what their upbringing is like, either has experienced it personally or through other family members and friends. So I'm very excited to do it. Um, every time I mention the title, everybody laughs, which is good. Um, 